Hi, it's Margie again. I'm here with another video about how to talk to kids about race and justice from a Christian perspective. I hope that these videos have been helpful. This week, I'm interested in how we talk about love with our children. Love is a really important concept when talking about justice and equality and the dignity of human beings, but love is one of those squishy terms that can be hard to pin down. When we talk to our kids about loving God and loving our neighbor, we need to be clear about what love means. We tell our children that we love them, and there's this glorious moment when a child says it back to us for the first time. We talk about loving our family and loving our best friends. We also talk about loving our favorite kind of ice cream or loving a current band or singer. Love can mean just preference. I love pizza. I love reading. That kind of love is different than the love we feel for our family and our close friends, and it's very different than the love that God feels for us. So when someone asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment, Jesus said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Love of God, love of neighbor. But do our children really know what love means in this context? Ask them. Talk to your children about the difference between your love of tortilla chips and your love for them. In Sunday's sermon, I quoted Dr. Cornell West, who says that justice is what love looks like in public. The second half of that quote, justice is what love looks like in public, and tenderness is what love looks like in private. Love is not simply a preference. It's a set of actions. It's the way we talk to one another. It's the desire for someone else's well-being, even if it messes up your plans. Children can understand that sort of love. So once we've separated love as a preference and love as tenderness, as caring for the people in our family or our close friends, we can then look with a wider lens at love of the world around us. Love of neighbor isn't about preference. Loving neighbor based on preference is one of the roots of racism and prejudice. No, love of neighbor is not about preference. Love of neighbor is about caring for your neighbor, and that is what it means to say that justice is what love looks like in public. A wonderful parable to underline this comes in the Gospel of Matthew. A king gathered all his people and sorted them, left and right. And to the people on his right, he said, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Loving others, caring for others, looks like justice. It looks like fairness and equity. It looks like helping those in need, even if that means giving up a little of what we have. I will end with one of my favorite prophet quotes, Micah 6, 8. God has told you, O Israel, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God? Thanks, and please let me know if you have any questions or if you have a story or topic that you'd like me to cover. Bye.